Hi folks, I've got another mind test tour video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at a substantial project um, that we've been working on in creative mode on Hex's server. Now for those of you that, that don't know, Hex is a very lovely man who runs a channel on a website called You. Tube. Uh, I'll put a link to his channel down in the description beneath this video so that you can find his content which uh, is uh, highly recommended by not only myself but I'm sure at least one other person. So uh, this is uh, like I say just a, a complete creative mode um, server really for, for me and, and a bunch of friends to uh, just, just have a bit of a play around build some things um, nothing too serious, but uh, it, this server now could be in, in the process of, sort of winding down and um, I thought this might be a good opportunity just to um, give you guys a tour of, of what we've been up to. So this is, this is my bedroom. Uh, I've got a coffee maker, I know I'm a tea person in real life, but you know in computer games we often, we often live uh, lives that aren't, aren't really too similar to our own. And well actually saying that, I've got a laptop here where I'm playing mind test. Um, so uh, I've got a few other bits and pieces here, got some books, um, a double bed, and it's, um, yeah, this is my little bedroom in what we call the neon village in the sky. There's some, bed uh, there's some doors here, so I'll just shut these doors on my way out. I've got a little living area here as well, grandfather clock, globe, more books, uh, sort of a stereo system with some uh, couches, and as you can see I've gone for a green and grey motif with a, with a substantial amount of um, dystopian black to go along with it. Up here is the bathroom. As you can see, it's it's a rather standard bathroom. We've got a bath here, uh, yep, yeah, and uh, all of that business. Nothing too fancy there, and uh, just close the door. And a piano. Uh, I cannot play the piano, um, but, you know, maybe someone can. Uh, and this is, now I've decided to start this video at night because the neon city in the sky, I've always thought, re looks really good at night. So I can get up here. And uh, we've got pavements that are actually lit from the pavement side. I always thought that was rather beautiful. Now, the Neon City on the Sky was largely created by myself and a friend of the channel Scratch, um, Scratch OS to be precise. Uh, and they've built a rather large uh, proportion of this Neon Village in the Sky, including this part here. Um, and of course, the Tron building, or the Tron Tower, as it's uh, also known as. Um, now, this was a very ambitious project, which I'm not entirely certain whether or not it will be fully realized. If it is, I will try and uh, give you guys an update. But as you can see, that's, uh, that's, that's quite, a, um, quite a startling attempt. Um, and yeah, yeah. So uh, as you can see, there is also a, um, a uh, well, it's a wire, I guess you'd call it, uh, in the, um, in the sky there, going down very, going very, very far down to the uh, to the earth below. Uh, we are actually siphoning, or at one point were siphoning off a rather large amount of electricity from Hex's nuclear power station. Uh, now we're actually largely solar dependent, which is quite good. Um, but uh, but yeah, the, we 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 were um, s stealing some electricity from him. Um, I don't know if he ever found out about that, but you know, he, he wasn't using it. But as you can see, solar panels here. Of course, got these windows, and this is the uh, this is the train station, which is, uh, if I recall correctly, now the only way in and out of the city. As you can see, uh, these uh, these solar panels are actually lighting up the uh, the tiles in the building itself. Um, so this is the rooftop level of the neon city in the sky. So without further ado, let's crack on and go through. Go through my little building, my little abode, and as you can see, got we've got some nice. Uh, I think it's apple wood stairs there, and um, yeah, we've got some. We've got we've got another living area. This is more of the guest entertaining area, um, and thank you to my uh, lovely other half, Rebecca, for picking out the flower decorations here. Um, and then uh, yeah, we've got wine. I don't actually drink wine um, in real life either, but you know, again, in an entertainment area, it's something that you probably. Uh, want to at least provide for. I always thought it, was, it had a nice visual component as well. And yeah, some nice uh, oh, white sofas, really? Hmm. Well, I hope none of that wine is red. It looks like some of that wine is red. Okay, so. Alright, that's my house. Um, so, 
And as you can see, many of these uh, these buildings here, they have uh, little window boxes, which I think are just wonderful. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do as well is just go back to uh, night time. Just reset the clock. Oh, the benefit of admin privileges, just just to enjoy the neon lights. Now, as you can see, this this town is as well lit at, at, in, at night as it is during the day. We've got a lovely little flower garden here as well. Benches, uh, some apple trees, uh, an apple tree, but it's a rather large, uh, rather large apple tree, which, uh, you know, even in the most um, sanitized of places, you know, you, sometimes you just need a little bit of nature. Uh, and here we go. We've got a little bit of an overlook here. Uh, which is always quite lovely. And I'll just give you a quick look at, uh, and this is another scratch building here uh, on that side. And then, yeah, this is the uh, this is scratch's entrance into the Tron Tower across the Light Bridge. Uh, and I'll give I'll give uh, a quick. Uh, you can go you can go up here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what is up there. I think that's just the top of uh, the top of the tower, is it? And then, yep, you can go around the back here uh, into the uh, the beginnings of uh, of the massive Tron building here. And uh, yeah, what a lovely garden with lots of lovely seats and a uh, nice little well lit area with the Tron Tower right, uh, right, 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 uh, right there. So as you can see, there's a lot of work to do on it, uh, but. Um, but an ambitious project nevertheless. So right. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave that there, but that is Tron Tower looking pretty good. Uh the sign is perhaps not not super central, but never the never it doesn't matter. Some of these buildings here, for example, there's not really much to them. There was the uh there there was the prospect of maybe we could find a few more residents for the neon village in the sky but once the neon village in the sky was was it uh, was in full swing um, uh, many of the the regulars on the server had sort of moved on to other games this is a power substation we can turn off a, an amount of the electricity here uh, yeah and as, as you can see this is a this is a drinking establishment we'll just uh, we'll do that there um, and then of course uh, well, I have probably spent the most work on, really, and it doesn't look like it, it, it does, uh, is, of course, the, um, the train station. Now, this used to be, this little facility here, used to be the stairs all the way down to the bottom. But the fact of the matter is... Oh, hang on a minute. Nope, the stairs, the stairs are here. Can we go all the... Can the st oh, my word. No, the stairs were completed. I do remember now. That's quite something. Wow. The stairs took the most amount of time, which you will see by the sheer amount of time it will take us. I'm not going to go all the way down the stairs. That would be, that would take far too long. And you'd just be going round the corkscrew, round the corkscrew. So I think it really is just the best way. See, I, there was a part of me. Yeah, as you can see, right all the way down there. But there was a part of me that thought, uh, that thought the stairs were dismantled because they were too ambitious a project. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the time uh, to uh, 6 in the morning, as you can see there. We'll have one more look at the, uh, at the Neon Village in daylight. But as you can see, hmm, you know, the Neon Village in, 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 in the sky is, it's a little bit, I, in my personal opinion, and sort of designed it, designed around a little bit of a nighttime neon aesthetic, so. And this is the ticket booth, but because the trains are free, it's not really, yeah. Okay, so we'll take the train down to ground level. That is the Neon Village in the sky. Uh, before I do so, you can see a lot of the underside wiring here which I think is quite nice. We've managed to hide away a lot of the wiring. So here we go. And we're off. So, yeah, we simply... Uh, 
simply now just have to wait until we go all the way to the bottom. We, uh, I believe the instructions uh, that Hex gave me when it came to making this was I want the clouds to be really small from below when we're uh, when we're looking down from the the village. So yeah, that's quite a way up in the sky. Um, but had a great time. I mean, there were quite a lot of hours spent doing this. Even, but a lot of the time was spent doing like just these stairs and um, uh, the uh, not just just the just this um, track, but also the stairs as well, which. Um, kind of lost sight of but yeah uh, and there you can see the stairs there just loading in uh, those are the stairs that you can actually walk down if you wish there's also halfway up the stairs there there is a, a little cafe which you you will probably want to uh, to take a break we just built a cafe into the side of the of the uh, of the stairs there because you know like you're walking that kind of distance yeah and here we go so this was a floating island that is a bit of a um, uh, you can make some uh, changes here. Yeah. There we go. And uh, what you can do is you can just yeah you can just sort of sit and enjoy the uh, the garden here, which is uh, rather lovely. I always thought. Now, as I understand it, the thing about mind test is that um, the view distance uh, is largely dictated by the server side because if your view distance is too long then you've got all of those clients that have to load it up which uh, in turn can cause a lot of server stress um, which is why you might not necessarily see oh you can see there's a, f yeah, a, fair, uh, a fair amount of, of view distance I could put it on uh, like there but then you start seeing the edge of the world a bit more um, obtusely so um, anyway this is a wooden staircase that goes down to my castle it's a wooden castle by and large, but it is built around uh, an island. Uh, one of those floating islands that you do see, like the one you can see there. And it has two railways, so you can actually... Uh, two railway lines. But just before we hit the white railway lines, I'm going to go up the spiral staircase here. Um, and this is... Uh, yeah, and we can go to the uh, the battlements right at the very top. Now, I say battlements. Is this castle really that battle ready? Well, we'll never know because well, I guess you know we've never had a Pegasus attack. Um, but should should such a so should such a situation occur, uh, we're about as ready for it as we can be. You know. Now, I believe there are stairs that go up again to the very top of this wooden part of the castle. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, oh, I think that scratches Castle down. There. We can, we'll check that out in a bit. Oh, crikey! There's going to be a lot more to this than I an initially anticipated. That's the uh, the power station that we may or may not be uh, deciphering electricity from. Um. And down there, you can see the t the tree from which I built a tree house. Um, so I'm going to go down. I'm going to check out my tree house. There's also um, a bridge to a little island over here. Island in the sky, by the way. This world does have a few of those actually. So I did bridge it. I don't. There's not really anything there, but you know, it can be bridged. Um, if I remember correctly, Hex had to do a lot of lead lining with that. Uh, nuclear reactor but I'm not I'm not an expert in either real nuclear physics or mind test nuclear physics I, I doubt that they work uh, in any way coherently or, or oh there's a sheep up here uh, I doubt that I doubt that they're similar but that being said I know little next to nothing about either um, okay this is pretty good and uh, please do feel free to let me know in the comments section how uh, how you f you know how you, how you enjoyed this tour if you did and uh, and what your favourite bits were and all that business because uh, you know I always I always like to hear reflections but yeah uh, hey you know th this server is sort of uh, in a bit of a state oh there's the water cooling um, you know it's it's sort of winding down a little bit now as people drift over to other servers other games all that kind of stuff um, I myself have done the bulk of um, building on a on a different world. 
so I will probably be uh, showing uh, showing what I've put together on that world for you at some point. But this is this is the very first structure I actually built here. This is a treehouse. Oh dear, almost fell off. We are not immortal in this world. Okay, good. Now this is a room of nothing. There's a lot of these rooms, there's a lot of rooms, a lot of ideas. Um, oh, and there's some signs. Uh, Rob's a gent. Cybrus is big pointy one. Good. Uh, actually, the uh, the Rob's a gent sign had to be... I I, I, uh, I don't like overwriting other people's creative differences, but that had, had a rude word. And Rob is not that rude word. Rob's very nice. He's a gent, you might say. Needless to say, I had to replace one four-letter word with another four-letter word for the purposes of this video. And there's Mr. Blobby over there. We'll get we'll get a better look at Mr. Blobby. Okay, and I think there is a down there's a downstairs to this uh, treehouse. Uh, is it is is that it? Oh dear. Uh oh. There's a little bit that's not finished here, is there? Ah, oh, I'm on the railway lines. Okay. And there's a the ticket. Oh, okay. Well, that pit uh, could need a little bit of work. Okay. And there's there's a little bit of the the base and um. I believe some of the stuff that's done at the base of this tree was done by uh, also friend of the channel, Main Tomato. Not to be confused with any kind of like secondary tomatoes or tertiary tomatoes. No, no, no. Main tomato is the real deal. Uh, okay, so. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Well, that, that goes back up to my castle. Um, right, okay. There's no train here, so what I will do is, because it's just a quick hop down to the bottom, I'll just walk it. Okay. This w this is where a train would usually go, and this comes into Scratch's railway station, I believe. There we go. I've got some wooden flooring here, so let's have a check out let's have a check out let's have a look at scratch's buildings and oof. scratches scratch has put a lot of work into this world uh, this is uh, a church i believe um oh this is this is quite a this is quite a podium look at that mm. not too bad you can do some proper sermoning up there uh okay what else have we got uh I do quite, I do quite enjoy the wooden, uh, the wooden paths, but uh, it can be slippery in the winter if you're not careful. Uh, so, is there anything around here? Do do. Uh, there's oh, there's there's the Linux sign hanging off the bridge. Uh, there's the, as you can see, fading up into the clouds is the uh, is the is the railway track that we came down on, uh, and uh, it looks like night time is upon us. Um, oh, this is this is where some of the animals are kept in Scratch's part of the world. Uh, oh, the rabbits, boars. Chick Look at all those chickens. Not sure what that one is. That's where the water is kept, I guess. Uh, yeah, bunnies. Ah! We seem to have accrued the world's panda population. And, oh, penguins. Good old penguins. I bet one of them is called Tux. Oh, and look at that. Night oh, look at that. Scratch's tower there. Scratch builds a lot of towers. It seems, but yeah. Oh, it looks very looks very nice here in the in the. All right, let's go and uh, have a look in these. Scratch this tower. Oh, okay. Uh, at this point, 
I'm going to change the uh, the day back. There's not a world of internal torches here, and I kind of want to have um, an appropriately lit video for you good folks at home. Okay, going up. I got. I must admit, actually, the 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 internal design here looks absolutely wonderful. Really, quite nice. And there's a oh, there's some uh, stairs here. There we go, looking good. All right. Ah, oh, look at yeah, look at this, look at this view. What that tree over there looks. Oh, that looks like uh, so. So as you can see down there, that is the uh, that's where the animals are, and as you can see, there is also what looks like a, to be a dock down there, which is pretty good. There's the nuclear power station. Right. Let's see. I'm going to jump into the water. Oh no! I don't. Oh, actually, this is a really good opportunity. To see. Okay, I'm not entirely certain. <laughs> okay, so the respawn area is a little bit further away from where I was expecting it to be. There's a little building over there, but we're going to go up to those introductory stair that introductory staircase over there. Uh, which will take us into the the world that we were in just a moment ago. Um, but again, oh, this one, uh, again, might be better viewed from night time. As you can see, there's a very well lit uh, staircase over there. And that, uh, it takes you into the city. Fell down a hole. It takes you into the city proper. So... But uh, yeah, I do quite like the sort of the neon, uh, the ne the neon lighting for this. So it is, it is quite a long path. Um, looking at it now, we could have done more to have made it a bit more visually interesting rather than just long stretches of lights. I suppose that's part of the minimalist futurism. But what we're coming to now is the is near the bottom of the long spiral staircase that takes us up to the neon village in the sky um, but also where it joins to uh, one of the more useful uh, railway station where you can get a train either to my wooden castle where you can then get another train up the one that we took to the neon city a uh, neon village in the sky or we can take a train down to ground level because this is not ground level as you can see and as you might remember that we just walked up some stairs so it's not quite ground level this is the this is the tier above ground level um, about the same kind of height that you might expect in the in the tree house for example um, this is another electricity substation um, so yeah you can go up here and this will take you all the way up to the, the neon village in the sky. Halfway up, as I did mention, there is a I think like some kind of coffee shop or something where, where you can take a break. And yeah, that train takes you straight up to uh, my wooden castle. Now, I'm not going to take this train. This train here goes all the way off to what was going to be a holiday resort that never really uh, made it off the ground. So... I'm just going to take this train all the way to the bottom. It's a very, very short uh, journey. And, uh, there we go. You can sort of see everything uh, lit up, as you might expect. Oh dear! That's oh, right. That's okay. Okay, and we can do daylight again. This is I, I really quite enjoy doing this. This is the glass ceiling railway station. Um, and there you can see there. So we're, we're not too far. We're on, we're on ground level now. Uh, this this will take us 
Let's find out. I think it will take us to the treehouse. As you can see, there is the Mr. Blobby statue. One of the first things to be built here. Uh, I think that was a hex design. Um, I'm not 100% certain. There's, of course, a lovely house there. And then the, the big signs. Cybrus is big pointy one and Rob's a gent. Um, yeah, this is taking us straight to... Hello, Mr. Mr. Panda. Okay. I, is there a way... I, I can't remember now if there's a way... I don't think there is, you know. To actually... Yeah, to get down the ground level from the treehouse. Oh no, there is, there is, there is, there is, of course, there is. We did, we already went through to it. It's, it goes into Scratch's part of the village. So we'll go, we'll go back down here. Because there were some parts of Scratch's section of the world where we did not explore. We made it all the way up to his tower. There. And there's a wooden castle here. And underneath this bridge is uh, the Linux sign. There you go. Uh, for those of you that are wondering, I'm currently playing this on Zubuntu 20.04.1. Uh, and I've uh, really quite enjoyed it, actually. You know, it's... Uh... Look at that. A wonderful building. Scratch has been really good at... Uh, at providing the worlds that he inhabits with rather rather interesting and stunning architecture. And there we go. Um that staircase over there um I will give you guys a look. But I'm just going to drop down through here. Oh my word, yeah. I knew this would be the case, that there would just be so much to this world. Okay. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Got some grasses growing in the sand. That's the big tower. There's the docks, and if I remember correctly, this is where, yeah, this is the, the animal enclosure. Uh, right, I'm going to just go off the pavements here for a minute and just show you the the pathway here. It's not a particularly useful... It, there was a, a time when that path would have been useful. Oh. Oh, okay. I've, I've made a mistake. I'll swim it, I'll swim it, it's fine. Oh, what's through here? Oh. Okay. That looks like a complicated but interesting phenomena there. Okay, so this, okay. So this is a path. Um... This is a rather interesting path, because at one point you could follow that path all the way down to the end there, and it would take you to a really, really, really long staircase that would take you up to the Neon Village in the sky. That no longer is there. That was dismantled because um, at the time it was built, the Neon City on the Sky was not a Neon City on the Sky. It was a rickety wooden structure that was very, very high, which then became the Neon City in the Sky. Uh, so you can you can follow that path, but it, it's a dead end. This path, however, goes all the way back up to my wooden castle, which we can then take down to ground level again. So as you can see, a lot of the time of this world actually just went into building staircases. Uh, which... You know, in hindsight, a lot of a lot of the worlds that I've built and been involved in have had stuff that's maybe a little bit too spread out.
Oh, where does the, where's this one going? This oh, this is oh, I know where this is going. This is a bridge that I built. That's that's my castle from afar. Built out of a floating rock island. Uh, this is so that's the train line there that goes either to my tree house there or over to the railway station. As you can see, that tall structure there uh, is a uh, is the the uh, spiral staircase going all the way up to the neon village in the sky. Yeah. So yeah, the world. This 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 world uh, in you know, on reflection is some somewhat interesting buildings that are sort of very far apart and thus spent most of our time just building ways to link them together. We came up with a very interesting transport network, but also um, the buildings I feel perhaps weren't as interesting. Or as complex as the castle village, which I'm actually set up to do another video on because quite a lot has changed in castle village since since the last one. But uh, this will be part of a playlist where you can see uh, castle village, and um, if I can remember, I will put the link to that playlist down in the description below so you can see all the other videos of mind test that I've done. Uh, but also, I will try and remember to make sure that they're on the end card for this uh, this video. But some some oh bleh, sometimes sometimes YouTube picks its own. I don't know how it works. YouTube, eh? Um. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna explore a little bit on ground level now. This was where a lot of the early development was done. So we're we're sort of returning back to our roots and. Um, I'm not entirely certain who built this house, but it's very nice. Got to love the blue flowers on the outside. Just have a, we'll just have a poke around. I think this this house was built quite some time ago. Oh wow! Yeah, lovely, lovely house. What do we got down here? Okay. Okay, someone here likes cats. Got a view of the Mr. Blobby statue. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Mr. Blobby is a... Uh, oh. oh, I was unaware of this. Uh, was a... Okay. Hmm. This is uh, this is interesting, but yeah, Mr. Blobby was a character who was probably the most popular in the nineties, uh, maybe as part of. I have no idea what this is. Um, as part of Noel Edmonds's house party, which was uh, maybe best forgotten. I don't where is this place? Oh, we're over here. Hello. To another building, which is also very nice. Oh, we, this is the one we just came out. Yeah, he was quite something. Ouch. Hmm, more underground caverns. Oh! 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 Oh, poor panda! Another animal enclosure, but this one doesn't. This one looks a little bit. Doesn't look as nice as Scratch's one. Oh, there! I, 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 there's more, more animals in cages in this world than I was uh, expecting. If I'm completely honest, um, but there we go. 
such is life. Uh, right, so there's the railway station. Here is a pink, a big pink thing. I'm not entirely sure. That was one thing. That was something at some point. Oh, Hex is owner, Mooks is owner. Oh. I don't know what that means. Uh, okay, so there's Mr. Bobby there. There's Oh, there's Cybrus' uh, big pointy one. National Monument, of course. Uh, this yeah this is yeah this is the the Mr Blobby statue. Rocky he's uh pretty big isn't he? Uh, this uh okay so I'm not entirely sure what this is but we've decided that it's become a um uh a, a, a monument of the world. So people can come here and we can look at it and go ooh that's either art or nature. Decide which. Your thoughts in the comment section below. Um what else we got here? Uh, is this a little wooden shed? Oh, I think this wooden shed was at one point designed to be the spawn area. Uh, oh, we have the 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 the, the stone tree. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is where something to do with the nuclear power station. Um, So this is, this is a bit more of the the nature naturey bit naturey area. Um, I did at one point think that it would be cool to have like lots of buildings on platforms in this uh, in this lake, um, but I never managed to do it in a way that I felt looked good. Uh, this is Maine Tomatoes building, um, powered by lava, so you know geothermal. We're really experimenting with all the alternative energies. In this world, we've got nuclear, we've got solar, we've got geothermal. We got, we got you name it. We have, we, we have something's being powered by it. Um, still working on it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let me just drop down here. But yeah, nice little building. So I think that is, if I remember correctly, the gist of uh, what uh, what's here. Uh, I will just zoom over to this, these battlements over here. Um, and this over here, there's a little train structure here. Uh, this, uh, the, these battlements here were also built because beneath them uh, is a rather crude piece of artwork and rather than uh, removing something from the world that someone has put time and effort into uh, I just I just decided to cover it up you're rude you used, used, used one of the famous or infamous four letter words uh, and this comes out and we can zoom along the track here Yeah. And that takes us up to the wooden castle and then down here. So, I think that really is just about everything. I'll do a quick flyover just to make sure we haven't missed anything. There was uh this uh this at one point was a Yeah, this was a drilling operation. This is what the um the power station was 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 digging. Oh wow! I don't know how far down it went. Um. Pretty far by the looks of it. Yeah. This is it. So yeah, deep underground. This is this is what the uh, what the uh, what the uranium was powering. So there we go. Um, but yeah, I hope you uh, hope you did enjoy. Oh, I thought that's a wasp. Uh, yeah, I hope you did enjoy this uh, this tour. Um, 
Honestly, I did not know uh, how long that this tour that to expect for this tour. And honestly, after once I've edited the videos, I don't know what it will uh, end up being. Probably fairly long, all things considered. Um, but yeah, that seems to be everything. Uh, oh, and this, yeah, this is the pink, this is the big pink thing that I wasn't sure what it was. Um, this at one point generated music. Um, but I'm not wholly certain on that. I think, th I think there was some, some musical uh, reason for it, but uh, yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, just leave it there. Where's well, a good place to uh, to to finish the video? I was going to go, although I was thinking of all, going all the way back up to my um, I'll tell you what. Got one for the thumbnail, right? Um, but I think what I'll do is just. Uh, Enjoy the view from up here. Also another good one for the thumbnail, perhaps. So anyway, thank you guys very much for joining me. That's about it from me today. Uh, please do let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. This has been an absolutely wonderful world to build. Mind test is a, well, it is my favorite uh, free and open source game about there, uh, game out there. Uh, it's just to me, uh, you know, you can create a world where you can just be as creative as, as you want to be. You can throw in mods and all sorts, uh, but fundamentally, it's the kind of game that you you make of it uh you know what you want we've got a nice big forest there that we ended up never really doing much with to be honest but uh yeah and uh, i just want to say thank you to hex for uh hosting the server not just in terms of the financial cost but all the time that he put in to making sure that it ran well and uh we certainly never had uh any uh you know any serious problems with it so thank you very much uh hex um, and uh, yeah, man, many t uh, good times were had um, by not just myself, but I imagine some of the others as well. Um, but yeah, um, I'm interested to hear what you guys think. And um, yeah, until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Toodaloo.